All right, guys. It is your boy Sean with Tim Short Classic Cars bringing you a 1970 Chevelle. I just wanted to get the sexy, sexy part out of the way before I went to the sexy, sexy, sexy part. Look at this car. 70 model, 136 VIN, 383 stroker, 350 turbo trans. It is a factory air car, but they didn't put the compressor on it. And at the 45 grand, I will put AC on the car. Oh, by the way, I'm wanting 45 grand out of it. I will put AC back on the car for the new owner. Full Hotchkiss suspension all the way around. She got disc brakes up front. Got a little drum action on the rear. Got 18 inch US mags on the rear, tucked under there. 17 inch US mags as well on the front. Car's got about a 7.5, I would call it, out of 10 paint. Very, very nice driver quality car. She's not a $100,000 show car, but she would win a show locally. Bench seat in the front, and the interior's nice on it. It's not ripped up, torn up. Carpet's nice. Could use a little, like, re, not, I ain't re them, but re, re coloring on like kick panels down there. Got little scratches, people getting in and out, touched up. Showed 53,308 miles. I do not know if that's correct, so I'm not representing it as that old mile car. Door panels are nice on it. Let's get the key so I can pop the trunk. Yeah. Trying to get in before the weather is. It's supposed to start raining today. Some severe storms, severe storms this afternoon and evening. So we're gonna spend the rest of the day out running after cars when it starts raining. Pop the trunk. She's a zero rust car underneath. I've got pictures to show uh, underneath with suspension. I'm sure the spire is not original. A BF Goodrich 205 7015. This is, somebody's had some laying back there in the trunk. It's not rusty or anything. Just needs colored. The worst thing on the car is over here on this passenger side. Could be spotted in. It's right here. It's got spider cracked. They didn't do a 110% job on it. There's no bubbling under the doors. Rockers are nice. Rear quarters are nice. Should go in for detail. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'll go over all the cracks, crannies, jammies, and all that good stuff of a car. Two inch steel cow induction hood. I've got pictures of the engine as well. It's really hard to do with a gimp hand to pop the hood on it and hold a phone with the other. But I do have pictures of it. If you're seeing this on Facebook, the picture of the engine is included. It's long as underneath it. That's, guys, that's pretty much the biggest flaws I see in the car. She will be going to rod run with me if it's not sold with them. I've had quite a bit of answers since I just stuck a little small post up about it last night. If it doesn't sell before the rod run, it will go down there. And price naturally will be a little more because I got transport costs, a million dollars for a hotel room for three days, and everything else that I've got to recoup. So you just call this a pre-rod run sale, 45 grand. If you want the AC fixed, give me a few days. I'll put the AC on it for you uh, with a deposit until the vehicle is done. We have financing available with approved credit with as little as 10% down on this car can get up to 96 months financing through JJ Best, Woodside Credit, and Inside Credit Union, and several others. Uh, we also have, we do take trade-ins, but right now, 
Only thing I'm taking in is muscle car related uh, with cash my way, uh, just due to, as you can see, I've got a ton of trucks and stuff right now. I need to prioritize a little bit. So that truck sold though. <laughs> but anyway, we ship worldwide. We ship nationwide, naturally, if we ship worldwide. We just sent one to Wyoming last week, sent one to Miami last night. Uh, so thank you guys, uh, Josh and uh, Mario in uh, Wyoming and in Florida for deciding to take a chance with us and trusting us with your business. And we're really glad you're happy with your cars. And if you have any other questions, you can reach me at timshortclassics.net. You can also reach me online at sean cindy c y n d i sales classics or Tim Short Classics is our Facebook page. Or you can also give me a call. It's 606-767-5747. Again, that's 606-767-5747. Thanks and hope you all have a safe day. God bless you all. Bye-bye.